the hip line is right here. Same thing, the hip line is right on the bottom of the word Corona. Mouthpiece, mouthpiece. I gave you guys both instructions. I wanna just remind you to please listen and follow my requests at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Fight hard, fight clean, good luck. We've seen plenty of Richard Comey through the years. Dre, I'm curious to see what we see of him now at 36 years old. When we asked Jose Ramirez what he expected from Comey, he said, I expect relentless, strong, a guy who comes forward, but a guy who I can show myself to be at the top level against. What this is expect? the perfect guy for Jose Ramirez to come back against. Tough, durable, a respected name in the sport, and that'll test Ramirez and get him ready for the next test. But Comey, oh, that so a little stanky yeah. leg. You oh, see the legs of Ramirez for a second? He looked unsteady. He's already getting hit with big shots in this first round. Let him out. Oh, and a left hand comes up and lands flush. That land, that shot's gonna land often. That hurt Comey as well. That body shot just froze him and made him drift back to the ropes. And now digging with the left hand to the body and a right to the belt line. Comey tries to punch between punches. Look at this action in the opening minute. Might be a body shot test. He can get one in. Every time Ramirez hits Comey to the body, he gets a reaction. Comey bends over, he holds, or he drifts away. And the left hook is the bread and butter for Jose Ramirez. Left hook to the body. Ramirez is doing the right thing right now. Richard Comey, he doesn't fight well off his back foot. And when he gets along the ropes, he tends to square up. And it's target practice for Ramirez. Ramirez dipping to his left and landing that left to the body. Now working the uppercut on the inside. There it is again. Doubling up that left hand to the body. Comey comes back with a short right hand, trying to fight his way off the ropes. And Ramirez has better technical skill than the inside as well. Richard Comey, he needs more space to be able to let his punches go. The straight right hand is his danger punch. That's the punch that he looks to land, but when you keep, keep him in tight, it's really hard for him to land that shot. Ramirez took the angle and landed a right hand to the body. Stop, my break, let him go. Not sure why Comey wants to stay on the ropes and allow Jose Ramirez, a hard charging fighter, to have his feet set and have full maximum power to get the body shots and the head shots, shots off. I'm not sure why stop, he's doing that. Punch, stop, stop, that can't be the game plan. It's not. Ramirez just putting a ton of pressure on him, and the, the volume, that's what's making things complicated for him. Comey. I mean, Comey's looking and he's throwing back and he's, he's landing. Shows a right hand. That got, his, that got Ramirez's attention. Now he turns things around. Gets his back off the ropes, turns Stop. back to the middle of the ring and was able to fire off that right hand. But Comey does well moving forward, not backwards. Body shot again. Good shot right there for Comey. Doubles up the right hand, including the uppercut. What a first round. What a good, solid first round that was. Jose Ramirez came out fast like you typically see him do. He threw a shot right there. That was on the belt line, but it's the left hook to the head that got Comey's attention early. It's, it's difficult to get caught with a big shot early in the fight. You see good body work, good head shot. It's not allowing Comey to get set, get a game plan, or get warmed up for that matter. Comey would land the occasional shot in between the onslaught of Jose Ramirez, but Jose Ramirez never stopped coming in that first round. Two, but that's back, the please. shot right stay there. Back. Richard Comey two, needs to continuously try to land. That straight right hand right there. The CompuBox numbers in that first round were eye-opening. 80 punches thrown by Ramirez. 73 by RC. But of those 22 landed, according to CompuBox, 15 body punches landed 
by Jose Ramirez. You see, call me. He's trying to throw the left hook before the right hand. So he's trying to camouflage the right hand. He's trying to get Jose worrying about one punch, which is the left hook. If he starts landing it, watch the right hand will follow. Change. Short right hand from Comey again. Andre Rogier wants Richard Comey to stay off the ropes, stay on that jab, and just box Jose Ramirez, not get into this trench warfare. Bernardo, when you spoke to Andre Rogier, the longtime trainer of Richard Comey yesterday, he talked about the mental lapses of just the repetitive consistency of trying not to make mistakes. The reason you see Comey staying close to Ramirez and the reason you see him with his back against the ropes is because you're starting to see what a 36, almost 37-year-old fighter looks like, a guy who's been in tough fights, a guy that's been knocked out. Your legs start to go. What does that mean? You're unstable. You can't move them in conjunction with your punches like you used to, so you want to stay close because that's where you feel most secure. And on top of that, I think the tough way in. I, I think that's weighing on him as well. Came in just slightly over. So but, Comey feels comfortable there because he can try to land some shots and he doesn't have to move his legs very much. And that hurt him. That body shot right there, that left hook to the liver, that hurt Comey. You saw him back up yes. afterwards. And everybody in the arena knows it. Another stinging body shot from Ramirez. And now he digs in again. That time he started oh, upstairs. Oh, and a shot. right hand comes to the body. This is great work by Jose Ramirez. The left hook is the punch of choice for Ramirez. You have to understand he is a left-handed. He's left-handed, so his strong hand is up front. He likes to torque, put so much torque and emphasis on his left hook to the head and also the body. And Ramirez is having success with both hands tonight. The left and the right. Stop, 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 stop. It's a great box of the bell. It seems like only yesterday You were just a child at play Life is brief But when it's gone Love goes on Every March, Jersey Mike's turns money from subs into charitable donations. And March 29th is Jersey Mike's annual day of giving, where 100% of sales are donated to local charities. Join us for Jersey Mike's day of giving. Be a sub above. Well, folks at home, let's check out some of this work from Ramirez in that last round. Pinning. Call me against the ropes. You never want to be against the ropes. You see, he has nowhere to go. He has to go left or right. He goes under right there. But look at this left hand down to the body. Ooh, to the solar plex of Comey. Shots like that. I would rather take a chin shot than a shot like that to my solar plex. Piercing. It hurts. Body shot. Absolutely piercing. Digging in with the left hand. 26. Body if Comey can land one of those big shots, and he has landed a few, he can cause some damage. We've already seen this small, slight reaction out of Ramirez in that second round, and or maybe the first round, and he's dangerous. He'll be dangerous until this fight is over. He but Ramirez has right. momentum right now. But that moment right there, where you see Comey throw a punch and miss and, and fall over his feet, that's the age, that's the wars, that's the losses you see. He feels that and doesn't want to commit. He wants Ramirez close so he can feel Ramirez and get his shots off. And Coleman, Coleman's not the type of fighter that, that you know, depends heavily on the sweet science. So he depends a lot of the times on his fights. If he's going to win, he depends on his power, his output, and his will to win. The question is, is his will running out? Good shot oh, really? right there from Ramirez. 
Those shots don't seem like much, but they add up over the course of a fight. Catch him with the left right hand as he crossed that line. Call me trying to protect everything. He's trying to protect every part of the body and the head. Very difficult to do. Touching him with that left hand to the body again. Call me seems to get comfortable right now. He's along the ropes, yes, but he has his eyes wide open. He's looking to react. Looking for the right hand or the right uppercut. That's what he's looking for. These are also veteran tactics on how to eat up the clock, Rest. buy time, yep. let the young fighter do all the work and try to catch them slipping in hopes that they make a mistake. Look at Ramirez now. Look how smart he is. The experience is kicking in. Now he's just, he let off the power a bit. Ooh. Now he's trying to touch Comey and then eventually land a hard shot. Ooh. Trying to open him up. To the body. Did you see how his legs went? There was also a right hand up top. His legs buckled a little bit. Comey. Comey is in these exchanges. He's not winning them, but he's not afraid. He's not turning away. He just doesn't, he can't keep up with the pace of Ramirez at the moment. Again, in the close quarters, this is Ramirez's fight. He's better technically in the inside than Comey. He just gives those slight angles and is able to land the body punches. Positioning, Tess. Great at positioning to land that left hook. Just a little dip, a little angle. Let's hear what they're saying in the corner of Richard Comey with Andre Rogier. I'm trying to manage the fight, please let me. You see, you're not letting me. This is Richard Why do you take the ball? Don't say that long. If you finish with the collateral, damage you turn him you're not angling that to conclude your attack that's why it comes back on you so you go one two three turn him come back with three but do not i repeat do not stand in front of him after you finish you angle yep. you're gonna fight him too you gotta back him up you can't let him put you on the road you heard him with a couple of hooks I hear what Andre Rozier is telling Comey about mental lapses, but that's not the case. Richard Comey's in against a bigger, younger, better, stronger guy. The only thing he can do, really, is to fight courageously, fellas. He's been courageous in his career. We saw that against Vasily Lomachenko. A fight that went the distance and was a clinic by Lomachenko. But he thought... He nearly had Comey stopped in the seventh, actually turned to the corner saying, you want me to do more of this, but Comey dug in, stayed the course. He is tough. Good right yeah. hand and left That's hook from Good right Ooh, hand. Good right Comey hand. It's short, to too. Two sequences of a good right and a good left to follow. But Tess, to, to, to Mark's point, you know, a fighter strategy can only be based on his technique and tactical ability. So, I mean, this is his way of fighting. Comey likes to fight fire with fire. He's not great off his back foot. No, he's great with coming forward and trying to land his big bomb. I just spoke with Robert Garcia and Jose Ramirez in this corner, and he said, look, he's got to use his head movement because Comey's still dangerous, and I want him to continue to work the body. That's been the key to success so far. You can't forget about the body, Jose Ramirez. Ooh, There's that right, right hand. hand. Led with the right hand. And when you have, when you, when your legs start to go like they are for Comey, you have to be smart in order to get shots through. You have to let, ooh. There it is ooh, again. Right and there. from range. Let him make the mistake like that and bring him to you because your legs won't allow you to go after him. And that's what Comey's doing right now. So halfway through round four, Richard Comey has his best moment. That's it. Pull your arms out. Let him go, Richard. Ramirez better recognize that Comey's allowing him to open up, and all he's doing is turning the shot over. Good body shot. And then Comey goes downstairs with a right hand to the body. Much better round for the former lightweight titleist. He called me to not want to be there. Left to the body as soon as he gets his back against the ropes. You don't want to allow Ramirez to be on his front foot. You've got to put Ramirez on his back foot. 
That's why you're seeing those right hands land. Anytime Ramirez, there he is on his back foot. When he's on his back foot, that's the time you want to attack him. He is not ready. You see experience on display for Richard Comey and youth and zeal on display for Jose Ramirez. the head movement to get away from that right hand. Beautiful straight shots right there. And the four is Jose Ramirez will return to the veteran and former champion himself, Robert Garcia. I took it in, so it keeps coming out. Boy, I keep working on him, I'll do it. You can't do with your legs, you gotta do with your mind. And Comey's allowing Ramirez to overcommit. Boom, so he can land the shot right there. Comey didn't have to come for it. He sat there and he just turned it over. And Ramirez ran right into it. There's double impact, and then he followed with another right hand. Comey's doing the right thing. Ramirez has to make the adjustment. Comey's best round that fourth round. Ramirez has a 91 to 67 connect advantage, but you see Comey with the power punches in the last round. 13 to 12 advantage in power punches in that fourth round. You know, the crazy thing is, is that I've been following, the, well, I've been watching Ramirez for some time now, and I noticed that towards the mid, mid part of the fight, he typically slows down a bit, and then he picks it up on the back end. So that last round and this round right here, he's slowing things down. Maybe have to catch a second win, but he's going to finish strong. Richard Comey has eased his way back into this fight, fellas. He's got more respect from Ramirez. He's got Ramirez thinking. He's landed punches. I believe he, re he won that last round. And he's having success at the moment. Andre Rogier was telling me that what is working for him here is that he's boxing more and he's not staying on the inside. He's got to work from a range where he can control it because this range is where it favors Jose Ramirez. Yeah, and when he's out at range, it's when he has room to land that right hand. How many punches did he throw in the, in the first round? Who Jose Kobe? Ramirez. Oh, 80. See, 80 that, punches, and, a fight and, high and 80 that, in the That's first what I'm round. saying. I mean, right now, he, <laughs> he's a bit tired. His arm's feeling a little weary. No doubt about it, and his legs probably. So he's looking to catch a second win because right now he's arm punching right now, Ramirez. And to your point, eight yes. in the first round. Last round he threw 52. And we also have to factor in the layoff. Layoff. That's right. Because your conditioning does get affected when you take long periods off. It's not that you're not in tip-top shape, but you haven't fought at this yes. pace in a professional fight for over a year. So that the intensity is different. Yeah. You can't duplicate that intensity no, as far. you cannot. The nerves that you feel, the things you have to overcome in a real fight. And I think Ramirez is doing the right thing by not loading up on every yeah. shot, touching Comey, looking for it to sneak a big shot in in between the softer shots. And he's making him keep his hands in his pockets, so to speak. And he's piling up points. And the right uppercut was effective in that mix of change of speed. Just touch him. There was a right hand that landed. He countered over the top of that jab and then tried to get back to that left hook to the body. Gucci Wi-Fi, and I've decided, well, if you're on vacation, 
I am too. <laughs> Which means your smart home isn't so smart. Break we're on. And now I'm sending mixed signals to your garage. But if you haven't bundled your home in auto coverage, trying to unpack this isn't going to be too much fun. Hey, check the router. So get it all state. You better protect it from mayhem while saving up to 25% when you bundle home in auto. Sold out crowd here in Fresno for top ranked boxing on ESPN, presented by AutoZone. Get in the zone. Getting ready to start round number six, scheduled for 12. Title eliminator Jose Ramirez and Richard Comey. Okay, let's go. Don't lay there so they can take more damage. Don't lay there so you can take more damage, is what Andre Rogier just said to Richard Comey earlier. He looked right at him. He said, do not lay on the ropes. When he's been against the ropes, that is when the body punching of Jose Ramirez has been wildly effective. What is <laughs> Comey, Comey just came out swinging. Yeah, came out with like I, almost I, a desperate urgency I, here with those punches. What was he doing? I mean, he wastes so much energy, so off the target. Ooh. Right hand lands. That was a flush right hand from Comey. Look, I, I respect Jack Reese as a ref, but he can't expect guys to obey his commands and pull an arm out while an opponent can counter the pullout. You can't do that. So, if you're a fighter, I wouldn't listen to what the referee's saying. You got to come in here and do your job, ref, and break us. Because if you get knocked out and look at the ref and said, I obeyed your command, he's going to say, protect yourself yeah, at all times. It's your Ramirez fault. Has been there. Ramirez, was, <laughs> Ramirez was there with Taylor. Good shot right That's there. exactly what happened yes. in one of the knockdowns right. when Ramirez lost to Josh Taylor yes. back in May of 21. And it was those two. That was the difference in the score. The those two knockdowns in round six and round seven. In amateur fighting, a referee can command something and everybody will obey. Professional fighting... It's, it's, it's cutthroat. It's different. Your opponent will wait until you relax, and they'll try to take off. Jack Reese is an excellent referee who has best in the you, you believe that, Tim? I believe, you believe the Jack Reese is best in the business. Yes. He has a sterling Hands reputation. Down. Ooh, good right hand. Tried to come in with it again, then dips to the left two times with the left to the body. And tried to sweep across the belt line with a right hand. Comey's having some success, but Ramirez is slightly ahead in terms of some of these exchanges. But Comey's still looking for that right hand. There it is again, Trey. And Ramirez hasn't made the adjustment, and he keeps coming right to it. He better be careful. When Comey can get to the center of the ring, create just a little bit of range, and turn things over with that right hand, he is effective. There's still a lot of fight left. But it doesn't have the same power on him for Comey, his right hand. It doesn't right have the same power. Right, it can do damage. of six, Jose Ramirez has landed 126 total punches and a variety of punches there. Yeah, I like variety. You know, that's what I like to see. I like to see creativity with your offense, and that's what we're seeing from Jose Ramirez. Beautiful body shot right there, another left hook right there, both, both opponents exchanging right here, and it's the perfect shots he's throwing and landing at the right appropriate time, at the right zone, at the right range. See the uppercut on the inside? Those are shots that you want to look for. Typically on the inside, you want to look for left hooks and you want to look for your short shots, uppercuts. Done everything that he needs to do throughout the course of this fight so far. Let's go. Let's go. You can box your way through it. Let's go. Seven. Seven, bro. Mike Basil 
Gary Stark Sr., Andre Rozier, all in the corner of Richard Comey, trying to encourage him. Try to climb this mountain in the second half of the fight. Total punches a 128-97 advantage for Ramirez. I respect what I'm seeing from Comey because he is limited with his legs. He does have miles on the odometer, but you see the experience and the craftiness. He makes the adjustment. He knows he can't do certain things, but he knows what he does well. The right hand still works. The power is still there. He still knows how to set it up, and he's using the aggression and the youthfulness of Ramirez against him. Come out, Rich. Richard, pull your arms out, Richard. Dre, after watching guys, film on out, Richard Coleman, seeing him in the inside and seeing him get pushed back, he's never had good legs or good solid legs or foundation like he's always somehow off balance so no, i don't know if it's I, the I, age I, I thing because I, I i mean i, I watch you. a lot of film and i and i notice that I hear you. he stays on his heels a lot especially in the inside he's, he can easily move home i'm not talking about him being off balance slightly on the inside i'm saying when you see a fighter that starts to get up there in age like this throw one single punch and stumble forward over and over again, that's that's a problem. Oh, that was a headbutt. He threw the right hand at the same time that Ramirez was coming forward. We'll take a look at the replay and see how close the heads came together. Good sweeping left hook from Ramirez that partially landed. But Ramirez seems to be out of answers in terms of how to break the code of Comey. He can overwhelm him, but that hasn't worked in these middle round so far so Ramirez needs to find another way to get in the house and to get get some have some success okay, against Richard Cole. Is Comey trying to turn southpaw down <laughs> turn over a new leaf just as he backed he, up there yeah yeah Comey's boxing more now you know he's trying to use the shoulder roll against the ropes looking for short uppercuts stop my break my break step out two steps I just think it's the low in Ramirez's offense. I mean, I think he came out too fast, too early, and now he's paying for it. Well, that pace was sensational early on, but over a year layoff. I think it's more the layoff test. Ramirez always comes out like that. That's who he is. That's how he's gotten to this point. That's how he's won the titles. He's won, defended the titles. He's defend. He's always done that. But when you have the layoff, the body just doesn't always respond like that. He's had 35 punches so far in this round. <laughs> That's a fight low wow. for Ramirez. He's going to finish up in the low 40s for that seventh round. Let's talk about the right hand of Richard Comey, Dre. Comey has done a great job of using the aggression of Jose Ramirez against him. In place, just puts the jab out there. Boom. You'll rarely see Comey come forward with a right hand. Boom. That's Ramirez coming to Comey again. Boom. Ramirez coming to Comey again, and all he does is turn it over. Ramirez has his left hand down, his feet are wide apart, and he's typically coming forward, and he's wide eyes. open. Good I want you using that jab setup and turn by him. Richard Comey. All right, when you turn him, he's, he's confused. We're good. He's dying out. He has nothing left now. He's just arm punching you. Use your you jab. Hit him hard shots, man. You hear me? That is, don't wait for him. Yo, let the one two go. He's walking right into him. One of your one up and come Moment. Moment. Take moment. Take moment. You glad he's good on the road, so. Take so moment, Chrissy. One two, ten, ten. Okay? Let's go. Eight. Let's Eight. go. Stay smart, Richie. Go Dre, you're right about those right hands. The problem for Comey is those knocked out people at 135. They're not doing anything to Jose Ramirez at 140. And also the problem for Comey is that because the legs are not where they need to be, he can't put two punches together. Age will have you put one punch together. He can't put two and three and four because the balance and the equilibrium is not there. When he does, he stumbles forward. Let him out. Stop. My break. My break. Step away. From I respectively disagree, Dre, but I, hey, I love you, bro. And I think Comey could have more success with the right hand by just picking up his jab a little bit more. He doesn't have to land it, but just flick it, flick it, and then throw the right hand. There's a headshot that came in from Ramirez, and that is the exact point that Andre Rogier was trying to put forth as well, Dre. Ooh, good shot. Ramirez landing there. 
But you see the craft of Comey. He rolls. He'll take a shot here and there. He'll break the shot in half and take the power off. And then he'll try to land his own shot. That's just experience on display. I respect it. Stop. Stop. My break. Separate from each other. Good shot right there. Short shot from Ramirez. He needs to follow that up with another right hand to the body, then something back to the head. Because the single shot is not doing it thus far. Left hand right to that belt line. Remember, Jack Reese pointed out that belt line earlier tonight. That is a legal blow. All these rounds are starting to look the same. Same as the previous round. Call me against the rope, slipping and sliding, landing the occasional right hand. And Ramirez marching forward. Throwing arm punches. Stop. Stop. Don't walk him back, just stop. Comey's choosing the box off the back foot now. Ramirez is not pressing forward, not letting his hands go as often as he needed, needs to. And so Comey's just recuperating, buying his time, and just shooting his jab. Ooh, good good combination right there. Very strong combination to finish off the eighth round. Got caught slipping. Well, let's remind you of what is coming your way because we have a world title fight Next week on ESPN Plus, Robesi Ramirez against the always entertaining Isaac Dog Bay for the vacant WBO featherweight title. Then on April 8th, one of the best in the world, Shakur Stevenson in a title eliminator at 135 pounds against Yoshino. Also on that card, Jared Anderson, the next great heavyweight, will be in action. He's 13-0 with 13 knockouts and Keyshawn Davis who many consider the bluest of blue chip prospects tries to move his mark to 8 and 0 oh. that is Saturday night April 8th from Newark New Jersey on ESPN Keyshawn Jared Shakur all on the same card nine hold on guys still in the ring go for it start of round number nine scheduled for 12. Ramirez, a 154 to 121 connect advantage. Andre Rogier just wants Richard Comey to stay behind the jab. He doesn't want him to reach with those long hooks because he says when you jab and turn him, he's confused, he's lost, keep losing him. Landed 16% of his jabs, and if ever there could be a right hand to come behind one, well, that would be the answer. I'm blown away right now by Richard Comey because honestly, um, I thought that the, the more versatile fighter in this would be Ramirez with his amateur background and I've so, seen him box in the past use his jab and movement and you know to set up offense but I'm seeing Richard Comey control distance I'm seeing him box use his jab <laughs> and land right hands like that Richard Comey's it's having amazing. success because he followed the instructions of Coach Rogier and he picked up his jab. Wasn't a hard jab, wasn't Man. a power jab. It was enough of a jab to occupy Jose Ramirez so the other Stop. shots can easily get through. It's a great word to use as to the effectiveness of a jab. Simply to occupy your opponent, and there it is with a right hand coming behind it. 
because thus far this fight has gone as Jose Ramirez has gone. And now Comey's realizing that maybe Ramirez doesn't have another gear. Maybe he doesn't have more answers. So that's, in, that's causing Richard Comey to be emboldened. And now you see him letting his punches go. There's the one-two from Comey. There's the double jab from Comey. Then the jab to the body. <laughs> boxing. Richard Comey is boxing. <laughs> Wow. Shot from Richard Comey. Solid right hand from RC. Slightly like rolled from Ramirez, but it landed. And if Richard Comey was investing the body, he's not investing in the body enough. A lot of head shots, but not enough body work. He invests in the body, then he'll slow down Ramirez Good even more. Shot. For perspective, only 21% of his punches are to the body, where 47% is the mark for Ramirez. Did Ramirez punch out put pick up a bit? Plateau. Plateau. Let him go, Jose. Let him go, Rich. Come on. Stop, stop, stop. Just stop with the bell. Stop, stop, stop. Good stop. round. That's a call me round. It really is. Undoubtedly. Can you get buddy? Ninth round, his best of the night for Comey. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Focus up. You, when you box, you, you, when you box, you fuck head. him up. You hear me? Do you hear me? That's what you're doing. You're boxing him and messing him up. Don't stand there after you finish doing something good with your skills. You, that's waiting for him to answer. Don't let him answer. He's boxing. You can feel his punches get fucked. Use your jab and keep turning. This is round one. Let's go. You want this yeah, world championship. Yeah. Stay smart. I like what I saw. You got three of them. Box is there. In that ninth round, he threw 43 jabs. He landed 12 of them. Trey, you made a good point saying that has been the key to unlock some success here in the middle and later rounds. And when you compare it to other Richard Comey fights, you're seeing he is doubling his percentage. So Comey has found something. Punches last round a 25 to 8 advantage. Three rounds to go. Round number 10. Title hey, eliminator. Pull, out, Rich. pull your arm out, Jose. Left arm. Pull it out. Come on. I stop. My the jab is always the answer push off for every fight. <laughs> <laughs> but at the right distance, we just rarely at the right we time. just rarely use it enough. Yeah. <laughs> I just spoke with Robert Garcia, and he told me that even Jose came back to the corner and understood that he gave away that round, that his rhythm is coming down in terms of punch output. So Robert said the last three rounds, you cannot let that happen. You have to be more active, and you have to be consistent with your output. Let's see if we get a sense of it. Another double jab right hand from Cohen. And Tess, this is because of the inactivity, Tess. The inactivity. So was the rest for his body good? I don't think so. I would say the time with the family was great. But the rest, I don't believe, was good for him. All you need to know is listen to this crowd, a place that's always ready to yes. roar, a place that was erupting on a ring walk and in that first round and all the sensational work. They're sitting back and they are quiet right now at this stage. Ramirez came out hot and he's gone flat. Flat. Good shot from both guys actually right there. I think they both landed right here. Pull out of it. Work out of it, fellas. Stop, stop, stop. Are you holding now, Rich? Last year has been filled with some criticism of missed world title opportunities. One for his wedding that he was preparing for, the other one because he felt like he wasn't going to be compensated at the right amount, and now a chance to get right back into the mix for Ramirez. But how will he finish? What will he come up with here? Started red hot, built up a lead. Comey settled in. Has answered nicely down the stretch. All right, stop, stop. Break again, break again. Come on, guys, stop holding. Stop. Wait. You can 
here. Rozier saying back to the jab, stop, Rich. Stop, back stop, to the stop, jab. Stop. Wants to see more of it the way he was in the last round. That's the key. That's the answer. If it worked last round, why wouldn't it work again? Make Jose Ramirez do something, make you do something different. Don't just go away from it because you're lackadaisical. Ooh. Those men opening up with right hands. Six minutes to decide it. There's been so much talk about the immediate future of Jose Ramirez. This is a title eliminator, and then there's going to be a huge fight at Madison Square Garden also in June between Josh Taylor and Teofimo Lopez for another belt at 140 pounds that Taylor currently owns. Of course, he had all four after defeating Ramirez. Oh, he hurt? And he gets him! He hit him with a hook? A knockdown scored here in round number 11 by the hometown Seven. hero. Seven. Hey, are you good? Come to me. Come to me. You want to continue? Over two minutes to work for Ramirez. Comey ties up and wrestles him into the far ropes. Are you hurt? Are you hurt from that? Stay here. And meanwhile, valuable seconds ticking away. Ramirez digging in on the inside. Comey trying to create separation and then comes forward with a hook. Comey's hurting all he knows is fight, fight, fight harder. Knocked out against Lopez, was knocked down against Lomachenko. And now knocked down against Jose Ramirez as the crowd starts the chant back up. Big moment in round 11 for the former unified champ. Oh. Stop, stop, stop. Comey stop, wraps up stop, and drives stop, back again. Comey now get on his bike now, back on his jab. <laughs> Snaps that jab off the hip as Ramirez tries to close range and get to the body again. Takes that angle. Comey using those ropes to help him stay up and to try to get Ramirez to make a mistake to try to rip shots in there like you see right here. And Ramirez is in the body. He's still on oh, he balance. Hurt. He takes a knee. There was a body shot that came in there. Two knockdowns scored here in round 11. That's it. It's a knockdown. Just when things were lingering, just when Richard Comey had worked his way back in in the second half, round 11 comes out, and the dynamite from Ramirez blasts off. Two knockdowns scored, and a body shot finishes it. Short hook inside, Tess. That started this. Short hook inside. He wanted to make a statement. 
At times, the layoff clearly affected him. But when it came to a statement made, let's show you the first knockdown from Ramirez. Let's check out and see how this happened. Close inside right here. Short uppercut. Might have been something before that. Let's take a look here. In the inside, short, tight uppercut right there. And then a temple shot. And a temple shot from Ramirez. And then Andre, the end of the fight, when he had him hurt. Well, Ramirez is going to go back to what his bread and butter is, which is the body. Mm. There's a right right there. He wants to get to that left side and land that shot right there. And that's a shot that Comey has, has taken throughout the course of the fight. He just couldn't take it at this stage in the fight. He backed away. He said, this is enough. We see a good shot. He landed right there. But then you just see a shot that just grazed the liver. Doesn't have to be clean. If it swipes that liver and it hits a body yep. that's fatigued and has yep. been beaten up, at this, this is the response that you get. Let's see another angle right here. Oh, Boom. yeah. Oh, yeah, that hurts. Yes. That was full that speed, hurts. Dre. That hurts. And I think that first knockdown, honestly, I think it had a lot to do with fatigue. No, no, and he caught him right on the chin. No, no, he caught it with the forehead. You called it. You yeah. saw it. We just didn't put it on the replay. But it was a short shot. Nobody saw it. And then he followed up, and then he, the knockdown came. And you it was it inside. Right. right hand was dropped low low in the inside. Yep. Time to celebrate in Fresno. Here's Mark Chanel. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside the Save Mart Center, it is now time for the Bud Light celebration decision. This bout comes to a conclusion at 2 minutes, 31 seconds of round number 11. Your winner by knockout, Jose Ramirez. Statement win by Jose Ramirez. We invite you to join us on the State of Boxing on the ESPN.